According to Russia's news agency, TASS, Ukraine has requested the THAAD anti-ballistic missile defense system from the U.S. TASS quoted an undisclosed diplomatic source saying, Ukraine has turned to the United States with a request to deploy several battalions of THAAD mobile anti-ballistic missile defense launchers with radars near Kharkov on Ukrainian territory. It is unclear if the news is true and if Washington will approve such an undertaking. While THAAD is essentially a defensive weapon, it has capabilities that make it a strategic asset. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia is in a panic after Ukraine requested THAAD from the US. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It is available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense is a United States Army anti-ballistic missile system, which is designed to shoot down short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. The THAAD system is being designed, built, and integrated by Lockheed Martin Space Systems, acting as a prime contractor. Key subcontractors include Raytheon, Boeing, Aerojet, Honeywell, and BAE Systems, to name a few. THAAD is strictly a ballistic missile defense system and is not designed for general air defense duties like defense against aircraft. It is considered to be one of the best when it comes to ballistic missile defense systems, having been designed from the ground up for this purpose. THAAD is engineered to defend against ballistic missiles in challenging scenarios, like even if the rival launches a barrage of missiles and simultaneous interception of multiple missile is required. The system is quick to deploy and mobile, which makes it a very flexible weapon. An important aspect is that it is compatible with other systems, like Patriot Pac-3, and is designed to integrate into the Ballistic Missile Defense System BMDS, of the U.S. military. The THAAD missile is manufactured at a Lockheed Martin facility near Troy, Alabama. The facility performs final integration assembly and testing of the THAAD missile. THAAD system consists mainly of three components – radar, battle manager, and missile launch battery. The THAAD missiles are guided by the Raytheon system's ANTPY-2 ground-based radar GBR. It is developed and built by Raytheon at its Andover, Massachusetts Integrated Air Defense Facility. THAAD can also be queued by military satellites such as Brilliant Eyes. The ANTPY-2 Surveillance Transportable Radar, also called the Forward-Based X-Band Transportable FBXT, is a long-range, very high-altitude, active electronically scanned array surveillance radar. It possesses a range of 2,900 miles or 4,700 kilometers. It has two modes, one to detect ballistic missiles as they rise and another that can guide interceptors towards a descending warhead. Since the radar uses X-band frequency and narrow beam widths, it is good at isolating smaller objects, such as a warhead, versus space debris. The radar passes information related to the threat such as speed and trajectory to the battle manager. The battle manager is basically the brain for the system and it extrapolates the information received by it, predicts the path for the incoming missile and directs interceptors against it. 
The Interceptor missile is around 6 meters in length and is equipped with a single-stage solid-fuel rocket motor with thrust vectoring. The missile has a speed of Mach 8.24 or 2.8 km per second. The guidance system is indium antimonide imaging, coupled with infrared seeker head. It has an operational range of 200 km or around 125 miles and a flight altitude of 150 km or 93 miles. The missile has no explosives and uses hit-to-kill approach. It has a kinetic kill vehicle to knock out incoming missiles. A THAAD battery can include up to nine transporter erector launchers, each carrying eight interceptors for immediate launch. Their supporting equipment, which includes storage and reloading systems, that will enable refill of interceptors when the first batch is used up. As quoted by TASS, a THAAD system deployed in Ukraine is capable of tracking the aerospace situation over a substantial part of Russian territory and will enable Kyiv and its NATO allies to look deep into the territory of Russia. So, just like Russian S-400 can scan skies well outside Russian land boundaries, THAAD can also do the same and to a greater range. With that, NATO will be able to monitor a Russian aerial buildup and get a very comprehensive picture of its eastern flank. This is what makes Russia extremely uneasy. THAAD has recently brought down a ballistic missile. The takedown on the 17th of January is thought to be the first recorded successful operational use in the hands of the United Arab Emirates. The ballistic missile that was targeted was fired by Houthi militants at sensitive Emirati sites and facilities. Technically, the system can provide cover to Ukraine from certain Russian precision strike systems like the Iskander-M surface-to-surface ballistic missile. This can prevent Russia from knocking out Ukraine's key military assets and prevent a swift takeover. So, THAAD can actually hinder a potential Russian plan to invade Ukraine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.